Next thing we're going to talk about is power. So again, on the driver's side of the RV is the uh, where the plug-in cord is. This is a 30 amp plug-in. There's some really important things when it comes to power. If you are staying at a campsite with power, you need to ensure that first of all, that you are only plugging into a 30 amp source and that before you plug into their box, which you can know 30 amp sources are these three uh, prongs that look like this. Before you ever plug in, you need to make sure that underneath their plug-in box is always a fuse. Make sure the fuse is switched to off before you plug in. You can totally blow fuses, ruin electrical wiring um, on RVs and campers if you do not have that off before you plug in. So you're going to want to make sure that fuse on their box is switched to off. Then you will plug in your cord, um, which I will show you a second part of that in a second. And then you can turn um, this to on. As always, make sure before you hook up with water or electrical, you have leveled the RV first. I will do another video on that, but you wanna make sure that you have leveled the RV and you're ready to hook up before you do any of those things. Um, also, so when you, um, you'll find if you are getting this from me, which you should, <laughs> that inside this box is a plug-in. I'm not gonna be able to show you that, but it has to go in upside down um, and you will, plug that in so now it's plugged in and then I just double grab grab this cord and you will just push all the cord back up into the box like so there's plenty of room for it I've done this a bazillion times the cord might be a little knotted right now um, and then make sure that when you are done that this there will not be any cord hanging out, <laughs> but you will have this here and that this is latched shut. If you have any issues with power, I can tell you right now that usually the first thing I check is that this is plugged in all the way inside the box. If this is not pl like firmly plugged in, if I were to run the generator, I wouldn't be getting any power because it's a safety switch, so to speak. So um, just make sure when you unplug, again, you switch the fuse box to off before you pull that plug. Then you will come back over and you will plug it back into the side of this box and the cord goes back inside. Um, so I hope that helps with that. The fuse box is key. If you blow fuses inside the motorhome, it's super costly. And again, I don't ever want anybody to not know something and then um, have the responsibility of something they were not prepared for. So just make sure that fuse box is always off um, before you plug in then plug it in then put it on uh, before you pull out you turn the fuse box off you unplug it you plug it back into this box um, uh, that way you won't um, have any accidental fuse blowing um, or electrical wiring damage on the rv itself